You would be surprised how many historic treasures that you pass by on a day-to-day -day basis. So Ace Bailey of Ultimate Art and Cultural Tours showed us around Old Town Scottsdale, and we learned about some amazing places that are right under our nose. Take a look. You know, Ace, I've lived here over 16 years. I never realized there was so much history in Old Town. That's one of the beauties of Old Town Scottsdale. And so many people that live here don't know about it. For example, the historic mission here. This was built over 75 years ago. And it was in, it had been through all sorts of different incarnations. And the Archdiocese has taken it back and has, is in the process of completely restoring it. And it is just a real treasure to have down here. Now this is the Cavalier Blacksmith and they started the first blacksmith shop way out of town. This was not in downtown Scottsdale when it was originally built. Wow, so much history here. It's just wonderful. You should go in and see if George is here. He's really? third generation. Okay. And if he's here, I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you. Okay. Hi, are you George? I am. Hi, Andy Barnas with Sonoran Living. Nice to meet you. You too. So we've been hearing a lot of great things about this place from our tour guide, Ace. I've seen it for many, many years, but I know there's a lot of history here. Well, the shop is oldest uh, business in Scottsdale, oldest building. Uh, my grandfather started the shop uh, 101 years ago. The original tools, forge, anvils. So what did they do right here? I mean, I picture it 100 years ago. What were they working on 100 years ago? Mm, Hand-forged ironwork, uh, plows, uh, farm equipment, any kind of repairs, wagon wheels. This was the go-to spot yep. 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. If you want to come back this way, we'll go to the museum. Let's do it. Wow, what is this right here? This is my grandfather's wheelwright equipment. So this is all the stuff that your grandfather used to yeah, use? Yeah, uh, this stuff over here is the wheelwright equipment for making wagon wheels, and this is all veterinary equipment for... Uh, the horses? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look at these scissors! And there's a lot of old blacksmith tools back in the far corner. I mean, you have stuff in like every nook and cranny. Yeah, there's... A little bit of everything in here. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with you us. Bet. Thanks for coming in. All right, Andy, now we're on Main Street. Mexican Imports over there used to be the first market grocery store in downtown Scottsdale. Wow. Bischoff's was the first ice house. So there's all kinds of wonderful history going on down here. As a matter of fact, right up here, this building used to be the first bank, the only bank in Scottsdale. But I hear music. I wonder well, if it's a bank anymore. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Andy. I'm Ron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How so you Ace has been telling us some great things and she said that this used to be a bank, obviously not a bank anymore. It was a bank. It what was happened? A, it was the first bank in Scottsdale. We still have the original uh, vault back there that cools our beer now. Oh, well, at least you found something useful for it. Yes. Is that it, it right there with that's, the, the that's big black right over there. door? Yes. Pretty much the same. That's the uh, where the teller's booths used to be and that's, that's the bar. Um, what about like all the, the stuff on the walls? Well, um, that's that's been accumulated over the year. This is the oldest bar in Scottsdale. Okay. Um, it's been here since uh, 1958 when we got our liquor license, and it was the Rusty Spur Saloon part of that 1951. So when did this open as a as a bank? 1921 to 1931. Okay, and then they closed it. Why did they close it? It failed in the depression. Okay. It opened. Uh, it closed on. Uh, for a bank holiday and never reopened. Oh. And then it became, it was the first, uh, it was a library, it was the first chamber of commerce, uh, it was a uh, coin shop, and then it became the Rusty Spur in 1951. Okay. And then you said they got their, they got their liquor license in? 58. This was a dry town until 58. And that's where all the fun began. That's when the fun began. <laughs> yes. Well, it seems like a fun place to hang out for the, for the locals. Live music, seven days, seven nights a week. There you go. That, that was a great plug there. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I know there's music going on. Uh, do you want to dance? Sure. Let's oh. go. All right. Thanks, Ace. <laughs> Ron and I are going dancing. Come on, Ron. All right. Well, you can reach Ace at Ultimate Art and Cultural Tours at the number on your screen, 480-634-6850.